taking one thing at a time. The other key component to learning is to develop a routine and consistency in your routine. Everybody always says, for example, oh, I, I just didn't have time this week, you know, my schedule was just too hectic, I had, I had no way to fit it in. <coughs> well, take it from me, a person that does you know, five projects all at the same time, at least five projects all at the same time, there is always time. You just have to schedule it in. You, know, you just have to be organized and have your priorities straight and schedule the stuff in. Now, to go on to a different topic, I'm almost done my painting here, but to go on to a different topic here, I just want to talk a little bit about sharing knowledge. Now, when I went to school, um, what they told me was at this school, they're saying that, that we just went through this whole entire bad reputation of being snobs and all the students were snobby and uh, everybody kept secrets and the teacher told us I, I'm hoping that it will end here and that everybody will be a lot more open and be willing to share a lot more. And I think we all took that to heart because I never felt any kind of secrecy or anything like that uh, when I was in school and I really took that with me when I left school and I'm constantly just, uh, I always just want to spread the knowledge. You know, it might be my love of teaching, I'm not sure. But either way, wherever I go, uh, I have no problems with, with telling people what I know, <coughs> my experiences, what I've lived. And the main thing is, because I believe, you know, this is the only way, you know, learning to draw, learning to paint, this is all a personal journey. You know, these are all, this is all like a, a quest for knowledge. Every individual has their own quest for knowledge, and if one person reaches their goal, it's not going to hurt anybody else, and it doesn't really have to do with anybody else. You know, if we help each other try to achieve our goals, really try to learn as much as we can, then, then we'll become better as a, as a whole. You know, art in general will, will be able to advance, be able to become better and better as a whole. And the other thing I believe is, you know, once you do, you know, once you do learn something, once you do become a good artist, I, I truly believe that you should look for ways to give something back, to give something back to the community. And in turn, that will help you somehow. Everybody's different. I don't know how it's going to help you. But trust me, life finds a way. And for example, when I started to become a little bit more popular, uh, there was a lot of people that would email me, oh, how do you draw this? How do you draw that? And, you know, I always, I wanted to reply to everybody. But eventually I found that I really didn't have a lot of time. So the thing that I did was I decided to tell them, you know, why don't you come out subway sketching with me? 
in the subways of Toronto and I will be happy to teach you how to draw, teach you how to you know, do whatever it is that you want to learn for free and and that was and that was my way of giving back and because I would constantly post all my sketches and you know post it on the internet oh, the Toronto Subway Sketch Group got together today um, this and that one of the biggest art forums in the world cgtalk.com picked up on this and uh, my friends there approached me I have to give credit to Roberto on this and he approached me and asked me you know I would like to promote this idea on CG Talk and so what happened was because this whole idea of artists getting together for the sake of art no money involved just getting together and and drawing learning from each other meeting each other uh, because it was a free and good idea the idea spread like wildfire you know it's all these little groups started popping up everywhere and they would all give me the honorary title of you know Bobby Chu's Paris France subway sketch group Bobby Chu's uh, Edmonton subway sketch group Malaysian subway sketch group and because of this all of a sudden every all these people all over the world they all started to know my name they all started to know my name they all started to look me up and all started to look at my art buy my books and you know, because this whole idea started off as you know I was not thinking anything to do with money just wanted to start this out of straight just good intentions it gave back to me you know 20 fold a hundred fold and I really uh, I really believe that if you want to be successful 